So as you can see, we still have some issues that we have to deal with in terms of proper alignment of some items. Very slight between camera 1 and 8, but somewhat more exaggerated between 3 and 4, and between 2 and 3. FYI, I've been doing a lot of duplication of the Cam00 main panel uh, template or stitching template and saving it in a separate folder just in case I do something that is so horrendous that I can't go back. So right now, everything is good. And as you can see, this is what the video looks like so far. So now we are going to go ahead and try to fix as much as possible. And as you can see, the table here looks really good. The table here looks really good. Where we're going to run into an issue is with the chair. So we're going to go into the masking mode and you don't see the lines it's because you're not in what is called the preview mode press it and it will show you where the different shots or what portions of the different clips have been used in order to build the entire panel or panoramic view and we have the issue here we had identified camera 3 as having a problem while camera 4 and camera 2 were pretty good. So what we are going to do now is that we're going to use something called the uh, constraint type or using markers. The way that these markers work is kind of opposite of what you will be used to if you were working on Photoshop and you were using the eraser or something along those lines. In this case, the green markers or adding the markers will be stuff that we want to keep. The red markers will be stuff that we want to remove. So for example, let's try something here. We have an issue where camera two is really good. We're gonna have problems with the chair. Camera four is really good. It's just we are getting to a little point here where there is too much of camera 3 on the desk that is not aligned properly. So what we are going to do is that we are going to tell camera 2, we're going to tell camera 2 to please keep using camera 2. You see how the mask is moving? And you can move it alongside. And remember the chair is going to be an issue. So there, you see what it's done? It has stretched out the, the limitations of the mask and it has moved them so that we have more of the table. Now we have an issue here. Let's be aware. Now, camera four, we are going to place, because we want to keep as much as possible camera four. There it is. So now we have constrained a bit what we can and cannot use of camera three. So it is less of an effect. Let's save. If you are not understanding what it is that I am doing, let's go here. And now you see the table is much narrower. Now we have to deal with how that narrow table looks like. Okay. Let's go back to Giga. So we need to define, and let's see how we can define as much as we can, the table. Now, we have limitations. As you can see, camera 4 only stretches to this section right here. We actually do not have what I will call a triangle section that will unify camera 4 with camera 2, which is the reason why we're using camera 3. So now what we need to do is to see how much we can deal with stretching camera 4 to make it less awkward. So we go to 4, what happens here? We have reached the border of the masking, as you can see. Okay. Now let's see if we can avoid a little bit the chair. 
so we are going to go to camera 2 and we're going to say do not use that little section of the chair there you go let's look at this much better you just gotta deal with that little section right there and right there you see that's where 4 is that's where 2 the limitations of 2 is going this way but we still have that little tiny section that we need to deal with and we continue cleaning up using what we want to keep versus what we want to use from the different cameras.